everyone. It is 3.35 on um, Wednesday, January the 10th, and I am Patience Holt, and I am with NotesFromPatience.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Little Rock, or actually Maumelle, Arkansas. I'm north of the river from Little Rock, our capital city. I am um, pretty new to the Stampin' Up! game been in it for almost nine years that's not new but sometimes I feel new because they always have new products Stampin Up always has new products to to wow us and um, I'm over the moon a lot of times with a lot of their products and I I love them that's why I have chose to do this and this is my fun time and I like to connect with everyone so, if you would, leave me a, a comment. I would love to, to connect with you if I can. Um, also, I am trying to connect this with my other group, so bear with me right quick. Let me see. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, you see Charlie back there with product in his mouth. Charlie is my ride-along partner with um with my rv and i have recently sold my big rv and i have a smaller one now and i have a trip coming up in march i'm very excited about that so let us get started i have three cute cards to show you today and i am offering this class to go if you go to notesfrompatience.com and go down to my blog you'll see that it's the latest blog post that i have out there and um, here are the three cards we'll be working on today. And um, I will also be talking about celebration. And if you do not know what celebration is, I would love to tell you. This is our celebration brochure. And it has quite a few um, products in it that you can earn. And when you spend $50 in um, my shop, you will earn... A free celebration item and there are several items in there also we have a new um catalog right now and if you don't have that just let me know i will send that to you and um get you started on your stamping journey this will be a lot of fun i enjoy stamping and i connect with a lot of friends that way also okay so let's just go ahead and jump right in let me turn you down to my desktop and we will get going. My lighting situation here, I haven't really gotten it where I want it, but we're going to go with it today. This is the new glass mat studio, and you can get this glass mat studio with the, um, this is a silicone mat that will hold stamping spots. You can blend um, different color inks on it. This glass mat is easy to clean. You could use a wet um, marker on here, wet erase marker, if you're um, wanting to remember something and it wipes right off. You can um, stamp on here. Your inks will come right off. Also, this is my January host code. In order to get this class for free, to receive everything you need to make these three cards, you will need to use this host code when you place an order in my store. Um, okay, back to the glass mat. This glass mat also comes with a chamois, and I actually do not know. Here it is. Like I don't know where my chamois is. I have not opened it yet because I have been using another chamois to clean right now and this one looks so pretty I don't want to get it dirty just yet but I will I will use it because I will have another demonstration that will use this mat and everything but this mat will hold stamp pads and everything and while you're stamping nothing is going to slide so I am going to put that away right now we don't need that right now um, when you get your kits your uh, class to go from me you will receive everything to make six cards it will come looking kind of like this you will have a pdf instruction printout that i will email you to email to you when i ship your packet um 
Also, I will suggest products that I've used in addition to, um, but you can make this your own, and if you don't have those products, you can substitute if you want. Okay, well, let's go ahead and get started. The first card that we are going to look at today is this one, and um, this incorporates the deckled circles. Now, if you do not have this deckled circles in your arsenal, you need it because the deckled circles is is my go-to die cuts now um there are let's see how many are supposed to be in here i've got it on the original packing 14 14 different die cuts now you notice the largest one is bigger than a card and um it's for your other creative outlet if you have other creative things that you do this is perfect it cuts fabric I used this to cut a piece of fabric the other day because I needed a circle and it was perfect so let me put this back up I use the deckled circles on this but now you will not absolutely have to have the deckled circles because when I send you the um, card kit it will look like this it will already have everything you need in there now um, and that is because your stamp set and the uh, punch is just a bundle and it doesn't have die cuts and so when I have a class like this if there's anything extra I send you the extra because we want you to be extra so let's get this everything we need to make this one card out here like I said you have doubles of everything you need here's the card base and the paper and the pieces and I have the embellishments sitting around here somewhere right here's the embellishments okay let's go ahead and get started this one is very simple to put together and I say that with my tongue in my cheek because I have a real good friend who is very methodical about stamping and I always say things are simple and she doesn't like that word but that's okay but today things are going to be simple because we like simple okay so first of all I'm taking this um, die cut and it is from stylish shapes and that is another set of dies that you need to have in your crafting arsenal it's it's wonderful so I'm going to stamp Love You, which is one of the stamps in our, in this stamp set. There we go. And I don't have to have any kind of cushioning under here because this is a photopolymer stamp. All right, let me put the lid back on that before I stick my hand and get my hand in all black. Now, that's really the only stamping for this card. So let's go ahead and layer everything up. I'm going to go ahead and start to put my cord together and um, the measurements for this card will be in the PDF that I send you and that way you will have it there we go sometimes my little seal can be a little persnickety but we can all be a little persnickety. Let me fold this up right quick and get my bone folder out and crease that edge really well. Okay. Now we will layer this up in the center of that, just kind of eyeballing that. And then we're going to take our three pieces of paper our uh, designer series paper just gonna put a little bit of seal on that okay I'll just put this one right here this one right here okay if you'll notice this is longer and I'm gonna cut that off and I left my trimmer over there and I'd like to do that with my trimmer Woohoo! 
I always have to travel across my craft room because I inevitably will leave something on the other side of the room. But that's okay. Everything's fairly close here. Now, I also popped this up with dimensionals, but I don't know if you noticed we have this beautiful ribbon here, which I am running out. I do have some over there. I think Charlie is sitting on them. And let me grab my snips and cut this ribbon. Okay. Gonna cut that. I'm just going to fold it like this and we're just going to put it down right there and grab my mini glue dots and put that under there okay what you're going to do I think right there will look good let's see yes it will because now I need my dimensionals Grab a new pack. Okay, so I'm going to put two dimensionals on this side because it backs up to the edge. And I'm going to cut this one in half. And I know I could use many dimensionals for this, but I'm not. Okay already making a mess and that's the name of the game here so how have you guys been on this cool day yesterday in Arkansas and I'm sure y'all have been seeing all around the country all the wild crazy weather yesterday in Arkansas we had so much wind oh my goodness it was horrible the wind it was just it was crazy Okay, so here is the card. That, now, all we need to put on here is our embellishments. And I'm going to, I've been using this package of embellishments. I'm just going to get this out and leave it out. But you have several different colors. We've got Pool Party, and Daffodil, Delight. We've got Petal Pink and Poppy Parade. And I'm going to take this heart and this bigger heart and put that on my sentiment and there you go that this is by far the easiest card of the group I love it I love it and it's just it's so bright and festive so there you go all right let's put that aside and our next card that I want to show you has this cute cute little bee in here and we are going to stamp this bee and build him up he's just so cute we're going to use daffodil delight and pool party for this particular one so let me get that card kit out and um after I show you the cards, I want to show you a cute card that I made with a um, stamp set that I got for free when I spent $50. And uh, just so cute. Okay, our card base is Petal Pink. I'm going to go ahead and fold and burnish that. All right, and then our next base is going to be the black, our next layer. And then we will layer this and then this. But we're going to stamp on the pool party and the um, stylish shape. I know I said this before. If you do not have the stylish shapes, you need that in your arsenal. And here's what those look like. Um... 15 different dies, and they are just essential. They're just essential. And I'm going to open this up. It's going to look a little more messy than my um, deckled circles a while ago. But that's because I use these 
a lot, a lot. You ask some of my customers and the girls that come to card class monthly. We use these a lot. I love them. They're so easy. Okay, so let's go ahead and stamp this cute little bee here. I'm going to actually start with our Memento Black and the bee body. Sounds like I'm saying busy body. But the body of the bee. And we're going to stamp with the tail toward the bottom. There we go. Ooh, that's a great, great image. And then we're going to take the wings. Here are the wings. And I will show you with the um, next card. Well, actually, the next card doesn't show this. But I will show you here in just a minute with a scrap sheet of paper. The wings, we're not going to do the wings yet, but the wings will um, also make a heart. There's a punch on there that is doubles as a heart. Okay, so let's stamp this on here all the way down to the little V tail. Okay, now I want this wing. We're going to stamp it. Close, if I can try not to get in the camera. There we go. We're gonna stamp this other side. And now he has a cute little um, smile and cute little antenna we're gonna put on him. We'll put the antenna over to the side. And then we're just gonna put his cute little smile on there. There we go. We'll go ahead and close the yellow up once we are finished with that. And you can always stamp on the inside, put a B on the inside. Our next card has that, and we will I will show you that. Also, um, this is I love you no matter what. I want to stamp that. Well, I've got the black out on our pool party. If I can get this even, let's see, oops, I accidentally stamped on it and I wasn't ready. Okay, and that's not even, but you know what, that's okay. We're going to go with it. Let's see, do I have another one? I do, let me grab the other one. Now, if you mess yours up and you have a scrap paper, you will have the dimensions to cut that out. Let's do this right. Hopefully, I can get this on there even. I'm going to try to use the grid paper here. The grids. Okay. Uh, okay. Is that straighter? Yes. Looks so much better. Yay! Okay, now I'm going to put the black ink away. We'll get the pull party out and get our little hearts in this stamp set. They have a trio of hearts. So cute. And let's see. There we go. And then there is another heart, just standalone. Little heart. I'm going to put that right there. Okay, so now let's build our card. So I'm going to put the black layer down first. There we go. See if I can get this on here. There we go. I love this um, designer series paper because it's so versatile. You could use the other side. It's a, Sometimes it's a struggle to just decide which side you want to use. Okay. Okay, let's see. Ooh. Yes. 
There we go. And then I'm going to put this down right across here. Kind of looks like a ribbon. And then we're going to pop this cute little bee up on dimensionals. Hey, I also want to show you a cute little treat bag that during um, our little on stage at home, I treated my team to the, this little treat that we made or that I made and I, I treated it to them for them um, because it went right along with the bees. Now I think I want to use a flower and a yellow heart this time. So we use a little yellow heart right there. Just get a pop of yellow. There we go. And here's this sweet little card. It says, I love you no matter what. Love that. Love that. Okay. So our next card has all the things. Has a lot of things on it. Happy Valentine's Day. And on the inside it says, you'll always be the one for me. And it has the little bee trails. So this one is definitely going to be fun to make. So let's make that one. Get my card base, which is pool party. And then I have the designer series paper. And then I have a layer for the front and a layer for the inside. And then we have a cute stylish shape. But before we put anything together, let's get our stamping done. So, I want to go ahead and start with stamping the uh, sentiment on here. Happy Valentine's Day, and we'll be doing that with Poppy Parade is the color we're going to use. And I'm just going to put that somewhere in the middle. There we go. Move that out of the way and now I'm going to stamp on the inside. And let me see, I've got that sentiment up on a block already, also. Here we go. You'll always be the one for me. Okay. So that is all. Well, that's not completely all of that color. Let me move that out of the way though. Let's go ahead and stamp on the inside. Now we're going to be doing the B, and when we do the B, I like to do the black uh, stripes in the tail of the B first so that I know where to stamp his body. So I'm using Memento Black, and then we're going to stamp some trails. Little little trails of where the bee has been. Now you can also stamp that on your envelope. Don't forget your envelopes. Um, we always, in our card class, we always stamp our envelopes with different um, things that coordinate with our, um, with our, our cards. Our envelopes and our cards match. Here we go. I was looking for what I needed and I need my daffodil yellow ink to go along with the body, the bee body. Now the cards that I'm showing you today are not incorporating the actual punch today, but I will show you how to do the punch. Um, I just now realized it does not incorporate it. I've made so many cards with the punch and without the punch, I am going to show you some of those cards. But with this card and um, the other two I've made, we actually haven't used the punch. Okay, so I'm going to stamp the antenna up here. And then we're going to use the pool party for the wings. And I used the wings in the Memento black 
while I go, so let me clean my stamp right quick with my Stampin' Mist. I, I use my Stampin' Mist here in my craft room, but for my classes, I use my chamois. Oh, and I just put that right back in the black, didn't I? Okay, let's put this in pool party color this time. Let me stamp off, make sure that looks good. Yes. All right. So we're going to have cute little blue wings. And now we need a face. And I'm looking for the face for this cute bee. The little smiley face. Here we go. And I put it in the blue. <laughs> I want it black. That's what happens when you have so many ink pads in front of you. Okay. So, little smiley face here. He looks so proud of himself. To me, that's what it looks like. Okay, this is the inside. So now we're going to go ahead and stamp our layer for the front. And for the front, we're going to need the pool party and the poppy parade. So let me put away the black before I stink something in that. Okay, so... In this stamp set, we have a little honeycomb. And I could have used Daffodil Delight for this. And I did when I first made this card. But to me, it just looked better with the Pool Party Honeycomb. I don't know why. To me. To you, you might want to go ahead and do that. So, now I'm finished with that. And let's get the heart. And we'll put some hearts on the front of this card. Let's put a heart there. And down here at the bottom. Okay. So that is all our stamping. Let's put this card together. And let's put our inside in here. If you have any questions, just let me know. I would be happy to answer your questions. You can email me at patienceholt at gmail.com. And then I will see what I can do for you. Okay, so this looks kind of funny for the front of a card, but this is the magic of the designer series paper that we have. So we are going to put this down about right here. And then we are going to put, let's see, just a little bit of seal right there. We're going to put this in the middle. And then we're going to pop this up with dimensionals. These dimensionals are great. They are sticky on two sides. You just peel the paper. But I do have to warn you with these dimensionals. These things go everywhere. Went on vacation to Florida several years ago and unloading the car, got to the kitchen and was going back and forth and there was a dimension on the floor. So we took them with us. Okay, so to complete this card, let's put a pool party heart right here. And I'm going to put some yellow in there. Get some more yellow. There we go. So there we are with this third card. Okay, so I told you I would show you how to do the punch. And I will show you how to do the punch. Let me grab my trimmer. And just cut some paper here and show you what we're going to do. I'm going to make a B and some wings. And I'll show you how easy this uh, punch is to use. Okay. 
So let's start with the B body first. Get some ink on here. And then let's get the daffodil. Yeah, actually that was not the bee body. That was the bee tail. And so now here's the bee body with our daffodil yellow. Daffodil yellow. All right. Okay. And then... Let's get some black. Let me put his face on there. We don't want him to go without a face. His little face. Okay, so now we also have an antenna, but we're going to punch that out. And I'll show you how we can punch that out. It's just so ingenious. So genius. Okay, let's see if I can get all this in there. Okay. Mm hmm. May have to trim. There we go. There we go. Just line this up. Of course, I should have stamped it a little close to the bottom, but that's okay. We can always improvise. All right. So you just line this up in the punch. Now I give it a little pressure with this right hand to line to hold it so it doesn't slip. But that just helps me line it up. And then I get about the same amount of white around it. And I punch it. And there's our B. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and just cut this off. This heart right here is the wings and you see that little heart that's that's the um where the little antennas could go or you could punch them out and use them okay so let me see if i can put this in here let's see i think it's going to go in here like Hmm. Tell you what, let's stamp our um, antenna again, facing a different way, so that I can do this. Let's see if I can do this this way. Here we go. Now, just a little heart for the antennas, and then we'll put this little bee together. So I have a little heart to put in my my stash. Okay. So I'm going to get my mini glue dots out here. And we're going to put this little bead together. Go put him some wings on here. Put his little antenna on here. Isn't that so cute? You could probably put the antenna on the back. Let's see if that would look better. Yep, let's do that. Little antenna on the back. All right. Okay, he's got his little antenna going. And there you have a bee. That's how you use the punch. Now, the punch is versatile. You could use it for... Um, making hearts or making a bunch of bees. I've also seen the um, white piece as a conversational window. You could stamp a sentiment in there and have it coming from a bee. Like this bee in the conversation window saying love you or something like that. Okay, so here are the three cards that we made. In, in this card kit, you'll have six cards, of course. But let me show you another card that I made. And this is with the popped up, um, a punched out bee. And um, I've got the ribbon wrapped around this layer. And then this is with different um, images in the stamp set. 
So I made that one, and then I made a different color B. You make my heart buzz. I used the purple, the um, Helen Heather purple, and the lemon lolly. And then on this one, I put B vine. I've got a stylish shape there. I've got different color wings, and then I've got um, just a little sampling of different color paper with the buzz. And then I've got the ribbon tied around there and using the embellishment. And so if you purchase this whole suite of products for $75, you'll get everything you need to make several cards. And um, all you need is some basic white card stock. Now, when you make a purchase using my host code, and it's $35 or more, I will send you the card kit and everything you need to make these six cards. If you spend more, of course, you will get some embellishments for free. I will send you this in pack of embellishments for free. But also, Stampin' Up! will reward you with a $50 purchase. Let me show you which one. I told you first of the video that the watermelon stamp set is free with a $50 purchase. And um, there are nine different images in this stamp set. And I thought, well, you know, I just don't know if I like that. And then I started seeing artisans and a lot of creative people come up with stuff. And then I made this card. It is simple. It was easy. And I made several of them and sent them as birthday cards. So this is not a typical birthday card, but the people I sent them to are not typical either. So I sent some special birthday cards to some friends. And this is what their birthday card looked like. So that is what I have. If you are interested in um, getting these cards for free, just hop on over to my store. I'll have a link in my description. And I also have a post in the newest post in my blog. It tells you all about it. Um, I would love for you to, to do that. And... Thanks so much for joining me today. If you're watching the replay, thank you so much for watching the replay. Give me a comment. Let me know where you're watching from. And if you're watching this on YouTube, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel. Also, join me on Thursday nights. Um, this Thursday, the 11th, and next Thursday, the 10th, we will be crafting on, um, on Zoom. So if you'd like to have that Zoom link, just get in touch with me. I will send it to you. And all we do is work at our own craft table. Uh, we may be doing a puzzle. We may be reading a book, just listening to people. But we get to know each other by Zoom, face to face. So I would love to meet you. And thank you so much for joining me. My name is Patience. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator here in Maumelle, Arkansas. Y'all have a great afternoon. Bye-bye.